Welcome back, True Believers Elite Legend, back in the house, ready for an unboxing. We're going to take a look at four boxes here. You don't know what's inside, but I do. And without further ado, let's go ahead and bust these things out of their packages. You're going to need a knife, a shank, in this case, an X-Acto. So let's go ahead and open this first box. This is from Entertainment Earth. Let's see what's in here. Let's see if the packaging gets this out of the way. And oh! It's no longer a mystery. We have Mysterio on the vintage card. I actually already have this guy. You can see him here. Uh, I already have him on my Spider-Man uh, display. But I ended up having another one. So who knows? Maybe there's going to be a giveaway on the horizon. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, leave a thumbs up. Now, let's go on to the next box. Here we have one from Amazon. Don't want to go too deep. That's what she said. You don't want to cut. You always want to cut away from yourself. Don't be like the elite legend. All right. And here we have, oh boy. I've been wanting to get this in my hands. Now I know what's in the other box. And here we have... The Punisher Rider Series. Cannot wait to bust this bad boy open. Now, let's open this one before we get to the big guy here. This is from my boy Nate Simmons. Nate the Great. You know exactly what's in this box? Had this pre-ordered from a different, a few different sites. You can always count on Nate to get you things fast. I'll have his a link to his shop in the description below. Here we have. Packaging, expert packaging as always. Thank you, brother. All right, so we have another Punisher. I was able to cancel a few other pre-orders, so ended up getting one from Nate. I have two. Unfortunately, there, there will not be a Punisher giveaway. I have plans for both of these. Now, without further ado, we have the granddaddy of them all. This thing has been on pre-order for nearly a year. Finally came through. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy. So let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite figure from the Spider-Man vintage wave? Was it Spider-Man? Was it the Green Goblin? Was it Mary Jane slash Stacy? One Stacy? Armored Daredevil's a real sleeper from that wave. My boy Electro. And now, without further ado, let's take a look at this. We have packaging galore. Now I'm going to turn this some bitch sideways. Here we have the NECA Street Scene Diorama. There's a new one that's on pre-order right now. Um, it's, I believe, the video game version for the Ninja Turtles. There was also a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. This is the generic, regular version. Had this on pre-order for a year. Couldn't be more excited to get this bad boy. Gonna put him up here on top of the fire escape setup. This is gonna be a perfect landing spot for my Marvel Knights. If any of you guys have this, you know, uh, let me know um, what you display your figures on. Do you do you do NECA? Do you do Marvel Legends? Do you have your Spider-Man display on there? Do you have your Marvel Knights on there? All right, Elite Legend just pulled out, and we have the NECA Street Scene Diorama out of the shipping box, still in the box. The next time you see this bad boy, he's gonna be up in my display. And now, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Share this video. 
Let me know what your favorite item was from this unboxing. Let me know what you think about this bad boy right here. And we see this over two feet wide. Wow, that thing's huge. You're damn right. Oh, there's something else in the box. Ah! It's Baby Kingpin! And she's not alone. She has the Vintage Series Kingpin figure. Guess we know what's going to be in the next video.